All right, you guys, welcome back to the Wolf Pack. As always, I'm really excited for today's video because look at how beautiful this is. Perfect conditions. We've got a slight little breeze. So the theme of today's video is kind of like testing the food chain. I want to start with a super teeny tiny piece of bait, some shrimp. Try to catch a bigger fish to lead to a bigger fish and hopefully a monster fish. So we're gonna test that theory and see what we can catch. I'm gonna show you guys my rigs, what I'm using, and yeah, we're gonna have some fun out here. As always, fingers crossed. First things first, we need to catch some bait. And this is going to be what we're starting with right here. This is just some frozen bait shrimp. It's been in my freezer for, for a little while, so hopefully they're not too mushy, but there you have it. I'm also going to be hopefully using the same rod with uh, some cut bait that we are about to catch on this rod that will hopefully catch an even bigger fish here shortly. For this rig, the bait catching rig, I've got just a simple little bottom rig with a two ounce weight and these little eagle claw hooks with the leader. I think these are size six. So we're going to take our shrimp just kind of pinch off a little piece, put it straight on there. You don't need a big piece at all. I'm hoping this bait catching goes by pretty quick here and we can get the line in the water for something a little bigger. I'm not even casting it very far. Oh, there's one. First cast, baby! What do we got? Oh yeah, pinfish. Little pinfish. Perfect bait. All right, guys. I'm just gonna keep this process going. This should not take very long. Uh, the target bait species here, there's a ton of pinfish. There's croaker, uh, maybe some spot. Yeah, we're gonna keep on keeping on. I'm not exactly sure how many of these I might need. So I'm gonna at least get maybe eight, eight of them or so. We'll see. I had a bite. Oh, that one like picked it up and, and Got him. What is it? And it's another, another pinfish. Woo. In the box, baby. The annoying thing with these guys is they will poop on you for some reason when you catch them. Which I do not like. So I'm gonna get him down. Number two. Holy cow. I just noticed there's jellyfish everywhere. I'm gonna show you guys. This is crazy. Another pinfish. I wish all fishing was this easy, you guys. It's been every cast so far. But yeah, while I was up there on the rocks, I just noticed millions of jellyfish. There's some even up here on the bank that are washing up through the rocks and they're all just kind of like suspended right along these rocks in the water and they're not very big. That's definitely strange. We've been having a lot of crazy wind, like just nonstop blowing uh, from the north. And I feel like it's pushed a lot of salt water back in here so maybe that's where the jellyfish came from but we've also had a lot a lot of rain there's a lot of fresh water here so i don't know it's like I'm trying to figure out what's going on because you've been like the other day we were fishing we caught a, a blow toad and a mangrove snapper which are definitely not uh supposed to be in this area yeah it's very strange stuff going on but let's keep it rolling this is just right here 
in the area that I'm fishing, but they're all up and down. There's jellyfish everywhere. They're clear, so they're kind of hard to see, but I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there are jellyfish, small ones, everywhere. Comment below. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I hope that doesn't affect the fishing at all. Comment below if you guys know what kind of jellyfish those are and why there are so many all of a sudden. Definitely uh, had, had my first one get off. Oh, you guys, yes, I got a twofer. <laughs> Two at once, baby, yeah, yeah. Dabbled up on the pinfish, baby. So now this brings us to a total of five. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, you guys, bait duty is over. We have caught the bottom of the food chain. So now it's time to cut these guys up into some nice pieces of chunked bait. And then I'm gonna re-rig the same rod for the said cut bait. And we're gonna let it soak, let it marinate, see what we can catch. Um, I'm thinking our prime time is gonna be closer to sunset. So we've got a couple hours. This'll work. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to get, you know, just as many pieces off of here as I can. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do just the head. I always like to make sure I cut off the actual pins, which is why they call them a pin fish because those things will stab the crap out of you. I did get stabbed a little bit ago. I don't know if it affects like the fish grabbing it or not, but <sighs> okay, and any scraps, I might go ahead and chuck this head in there, but I'm going to save a couple heads, but I'm going to chuck any scraps into the water and get things, start getting things a little bit chummed up. But I got three nice pieces of bait off of that one pinfish. So we're in business, baby. Okay, guys, I've definitely gotten a good start on the bait. Got plenty of chunks here to use. So now it's time to get the rod rigged for a nice juicy morsel like that. You guys, I've got my tackle box here and I came equipped with some of these. You may recognize this as a drum rig, but a three ounce egg weight and a circle hook. You guys saw how quick it was to catch all those pinfish um, so that means that there's a lot more of them out there. There's a lot of pickers out there. So that's why I needed so much bait because we very well could go through this um, before prime time even hits. So these pinfish are not discriminatory. They will eat their own kind. So this is a pretty good size hook here. I think this is a five but it, this is really, really strong leader, 120 pounds. So unless we get a big shark or a big old bluefish or something like that, uh, this should definitely hold up. And I have gotten 
broken off by a giant shark here as well. It's a juicy morsel. Alright. So I did just remember. I did just remember something that I forgot to bring. The most important thing, the net. <laughs> so that means if I do hook, hook into something big, I've got to scale over these rocks right here and somehow harness it with my hands because there's not going to be any flipping it over, over the rocks. Even netting a big fish on these rocks by myself would have been um, quite the feat, but without a net, I'm definitely a little bit worried. I caught someone else's rig. Look at that, free one ounce weight. I figured this would be pretty slow um, until sunset-ish, but we are getting, getting in the prime time zones. I just wanted to make a move down this shoreline. And I have hope, you guys, I have hope. We can follow the food chain and see what wants to take a bite of this delicious pinfish. This weather is so perfect. I think it's like literally 75 and sunny. And try a nice juicy head because all of those chunked pieces are just getting nibbled right off. Let's see if the lucky bait may be. A delicious pinfish head. <laughs> So I've probably got an hour and a half before sunset. So we've got plenty of time. We've got plenty of time. I'm not losing hope. Ooh, my line just went completely slack, you guys. Oh my gosh. My line went completely slack. Oh my gosh. Eat it. Eat it. It's getting tight. Oh, it went slack again. Shit. I should have let him take it, but I mean, how long are you supposed to sit there when the line went slack? He was like swimming with it. Oh, I don't know what that was, you guys. Oh yeah, look at that. It was chomped. You can tell it was picked up by something. And I would say that it was not something with very big teeth. I'm gonna get another one, a fresh head out there and hopefully I can contain myself to not try to set the hook. Gotta let him take it, gotta let him take it. All right, you guys. It 
still seeing some schools of mullet swimming straight along these rocks, which is definitely a good sign to help draw in some bigger fish. Reverting back to that food chain aspect, I can see them, they're just kind of cruising right along the rocks, but. Whoa, look at that, you guys. My line just went slack, slack. I'm not doing anything. If it takes it, it takes it. If it was a crab, it's a crab. But it probably came in at least five feet. Oh, getting some crazy nibbles after that. I don't know what that means. It doesn't seem very drummy, but what the heck. It is really high. I, I was expecting it to be a little lower since the wind has calmed down, but. The direction of the wind here is determined by if the wind is coming out of the north, it will be high tide. Coming out of the south, it sucks the water out. Oh, this is high tide north. Oh! Oh my gosh. I hope it's not. Oh, come on. It almost feels like a bluefish, maybe. Woo! <laughs> it is. Oh, it's a bluefish. Yes. Woohoo! Whoa. That's, That's crazy. Incredible. That's nice. Oh my gosh. You need help getting it off? No, ma'am. I'm okay. Thank you, though. <laughs> that was so crazy. Bluefish, you guys. Woo! Beautiful blue. Look at that. Craziest thing happened. I was cutting up some more bait. This woman and her dog just pulled up here and started walking. And immediately my my line got hit. Look at that. Woohoo! All right, we're moving up in the food chain. Definitely moving up in the food chain. Whew. From a pinfish to a good sized bluefish. That's awesome. I'm gonna throw this guy back and we'll see what else we can catch. You guys pretty funny. That woman was really, really nice, but she was trying to tell me that this is a drum and not a bluefish. So didn't want to argue, but it's going back in the water. In a typical like food chain video, I would honestly probably should have used that bluefish for bait to see what it would catch, but I didn't want to kill that beautiful bluefish just for bait. So hopefully we'll get some good karma for that and maybe the next fish will be a big, big old drum. guys the timing of that was honestly pretty crazy because I've been here for a few hours and I haven't seen anyone and I've also fished here before and I've never seen anyone so <laughs> the timing of that was just pretty wild all right here's the deal if we catch another bluefish and it's if we catch another bluefish and it's that size or smaller, I may sacrifice it and use it as bait just to go with the theme in this video, but I don't know, something inside me just kind of feels weird about doing that when I know that the bait that I'm using can also catch a bigger fish. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh! Oh my gosh, you guys. Did you freaking see that? Wait a minute. Did you freaking see that? I went over to get the tackle bag. Oh, my heart is pounding so bad. The rod tip went all the way down. What the heck? I wonder if it broke me off. What the heck? Y'all, that was huge. Whatever that was, was huge. I, I went for two seconds. Timing again. What the heck? It's prime time, baby. Prime time. Let's go. Come on. I want to see it go. Come on. Doesn't really look like a picker. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Woo! Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Oh, this is gonna be insane. Oh no. No, <laughs> no you guys, oh my god. Oh, no. oh. oh my gosh. Crap. Broke me off. That was not a big drum, you guys. That was a big, giant stingray. Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta sign on another rig. I, I can't even talk about it right now. I'm shaking. I really thought that was the big one. I'm not happy that my rig broke off because I wanted to get that hook out of him. Oh, I miss this feeling. This feeling is awesome. All right, Whew. let's get back out there. Oh my God. Oh, what? Oh, whatever that was, just picked it up and dropped it because I still have the head on there. And a sheriff just drove by. It's definitely strange that a sheriff just drove down the road and turned around and, and left. That's definitely a little strange. I would even take another bluefish right now. I don't want to end on a stingray. Oh, oh, what the heck was that? So guys, I'm definitely not doing anything wrong fishing here. There's no posted signs or anything. And I obviously have my fishing license. So I'm not doing anything wrong. Like, is it a crime for a girl to go fishing? Getting dirty. I'm gonna cut a couple of fresh pieces of bait and these will probably be my last few throws. Some chum out there. Lucky rod holder. Come on, dear Lord Jesus. Give me a good bite. The camera died out there, but it's also getting dark. So I think it was just, it was, it was time to give it up. I think that was a pretty eventful fishing adventure. Um, oh my gosh, the sheriff just drove down here again you guys I have a feeling that I am about to get pulled over or something the heck like in my in my rear view mirror I just saw him drive 
down here to the end of this road and turn around. All I was trying to do was just mind my own business and do a little fishing. All right, y'all, it is the next day. I know that there are some really big fish swimming out there. Unfortunately, we couldn't get to the top of the food chain, which I guess the next thing would have been a big drum and then maybe a big shark, but there's always tomorrow. That's the beauty of fishing. It keeps you coming back for more. And yeah, I'm thinking about getting back out there uh, and doing some more fishing. Let me know if you guys liked this style video or the concept of it. Kind of starting small to going bigger um, or if I should do any videos where I'm testing, like test and compare different baits. I don't know. I have a lot of good ideas. So yeah, stay tuned to see what crazy adventure I'm up to next. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.